This points to a whole new persona developer. Um, you got eSports on the Twitch side booming. eSports e is changing the game uh, in the whole digital sports category. Robotics, space, you got a satellite announcement. This is a genre change in digital culture. All those areas that we're continuing to expand into are areas that our customers are asking us to help them with and where there are huge opportunities for customers, but where it's hard. I mean, if you look at space as an example, if you have to interact with a satellite, it's, a, it's expensive to have to have all those satellites set up, you know, and those ground, ground antennas set up, and then you have to program them, and then you actually have to pay this fixed price instead of on demand. Customers said, why can't you give us access to those satellites the way we consume AWS? And then, if you can have the ground antennas where when the data comes down from the satellite, it's basically on the same premises as your AWS region, so we can store the data and process the data, analyze it and take action. That is very compelling. So that, that just felt like a natural fit. Yeah. You know? And the same thing with robotics. I think that robotics is one of the most underrated areas in technology. I think robots will do all kinds of things for us yeah. at work and in the home. People are gravitating towards robotics. Robotics yeah. clubs are booming. That maker culture goes to a whole nother level with robotics, yeah. congratulations. You know, it's funny, um, we had uh, um, the youngest person to ever pass the AWS certification exam uh, is, is a kid named Karthik, uh, nine years old, passed it. He was here this week, actually, and I, I got a chance to meet with him today, and I said, well, after the certification, what are you doing? He said, well, I'm building a robot. You know, and I'm building a robot, and he said, now with your launch of Deep Racer, I want to try and find a way to uh, to have the, uh, the yeah. Deep Racer car be the eyes and the camera and the reinforcement learning for my robot. Nine years old. 